Samsung is out here taking on the best phone of 2023 mantle with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but just how does it stack up against one of the best flagship phones of 2023 and a surprise entrance? This is how the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro compare. Our Galaxy S23 launch coverage is brought to you by iBlazon, and every single iBlazon case is made from shock absorbing TPU with the Arbon Box lineup featuring clip on polycarbonate spines for added stability and protection. Raised edges keep your Galaxy S23 screen fully protected when placed flat on surfaces, and there's even a built in ring holder kickstand, port covers, and there's even an optional integrated fingerprint scanner compatible frame screen protector if you want. 360 degree coverage. They also offer the Cosmo case lineup with features multiple finishes from marble patterns to animal prints to hearts and flowers and even beads. Each iBlazing case offers a 10 foot drop protection matching style with extra durability. The Cosmo case lineup even includes an integrated screen protector which is fingerprint scanner compatible for added 360 degree protection. Visit the link in the description to see the full range and learn more about iBlazing's full Galaxy S23 lineup. You're probably out there wondering why we're comparing the S23 Ultra to the Pro and not the Plus model. Well, the Pixel 7 Pro was actually voted by our readers as the phone of the year 2022, actually usurping the Galaxy S22 Ultra from last year in the process. And by fixing a number of glaring errors and issues with the previous generation, Google crafted arguably the best Pixel today, and it was probably worthwhile being voted as such. Samsung though has upped the ante once again with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, once again this is an ultra premium smartphone in every single regard, from the materials, the fit and finish. Sure, there are annoyances and frustrations. In recent years, we've found it hard to forgive Samsung for removing things like the micro SD card slot, as well as removing the ability to make MST payments with Samsung Pay. Those frustrations aside, we have to say the fusion of the Galaxy Note and the S lines has been a triumph in most regards. Make no mistake, the Pixel 7 Pro is a great phone that is well made. But when we start to get it into the hand alongside the Galaxy S23 Ultra, that newer phone feels like a completely different beast. It is a behemoth courtesy of its boxy design and requires room for extras like the S Pen, something you won't find on any of Google's phones. Because of that, it's almost impressive as well just how the Pixel 7 Pro manages to stack up in terms of size. It is also a big bold phone that is similarly large. It's almost one ounce or 20 grams lighter which is quite noticeable in the hand here too. Despite the S23 Ultra having a larger screen though, the Pixel 7 Pro manages to have similar dimensions as we mentioned. Pocket piercing sizes are pretty much par for the course with these massive mounds of tech nowadays. The designs though, they're vastly different here. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's aesthetic is almost indistinguishable from the S22 Ultra. There are some tweaks though that make the chassis a little bit sharper and boxier. The display curves have also been shaved, and this almost mimics what Google has done with the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 7 Pro, making those display usability areas a little bit more flat. Both QHD Plus displays are exceptional in their own rights, but it's actually hard to look past the simply gorgeous Galaxy S23 Ultra panel. It has a higher maximum brightness, smaller bezels, and marginally flatter screen that really is just nicer to use. Throw in the S Pen and it's an absolute note taker's dream screen. The Pixel 7 Pro display is great in its own right, it just can't quite match up to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, at least as far as we're concerned. It's also a no contest when we start to talk performance and internals on offer. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has the top tier Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 2 processor, 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and even faster UFS 4.0 storage on board. While the Pixel 7 Pro hangs in there, it's blown out of the water in areas such as gaming performance, but relies heavily on AI powered tasks to gain an upper hand over Samsung's latest and greatest. Android 13 does come pre-installed on the Pixel 7 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We have to say the differences between One UI and Google's newest version of Android for the Pixel series now actually feel further apart than they ever have. While you can find traces of Material U and dynamic color in One UI 5.1, these changes are really minimal at best. As we know, dynamic color does play a bigger role, but Samsung's interface is still laden with lots of tweaks and functions to make it almost appear like a completely different form. And that's maybe for the best if people want those extra options. The Pixel 7 Pro is the best way to experience Android, at least in our opinion. It's laden with its own features and functionality that you won't get elsewhere. It's not all in the Pixel's favor though, as the Galaxy S23 Ultra has slowly added similar AI powered functionality that uses the hard to kill Bixby voice system. Sadly though, the Pixel does not provide owners with a support window that can match Samsung. 
You'll get four full operating system version updates alongside regular monthly patches for up to five years when using the S23 Ultra. Samsung's move to offer such support windows puts pressure on Google, which it still only offers three Android version upgrades, but recently improved the monthly patch promise to five years. To put this into context, it's likely that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will get Android 17 at some point in the future. The Pixel 7 Pro will get Android 16 though. We're also anxious to see just what the Galaxy S23 Ultra is capable of when it comes to battery longevity, especially now that there's no Exynos model. Moving back to flagship Qualcomm processors, in all regions though, it's probably going to be a godsend for performance and the efficiency gains that come with it. With both phones packing 5000 mAh internal cells, you should be able to get a full day with absolutely no issues whatsoever, and maybe secondary days if you are a light user. Neither device though has particularly fast charging when compared to the likes of OnePlus, Xiaomi and Oppo. That said, the S23 Ultra has faster wired charging at 45 watts, but the Pixel 7 Pro hits higher speeds when using the compatible Pixel stand for wireless charging. For those worried about device lifespan, the lowest speeds should cause less battery degradation in the long term, which may be a benefit to you, however you do happen to see it. The raw camera specifications of the S23 Ultra also put it right at the top of the totem pole when it comes to Android smartphone camera systems. It isn't the most cutting edge across the board, as some of last year's sensors have been utilized, but it's using that 200 megapixel main wide camera, and that's undoubtedly gonna be the star of the show here. This is double the resolution of the previous generation and should provide a substantial step up in all lighting conditions. We all know that Google prefers to rely less on the raw camera hardware horsepower and utilize computational tuning. Moving to that 50 megapixel main sensor has done wonders for the Pixel camera system. Does it compare? Well, it's hard to determine, at least at this stage. However, the Galaxy S23 Ultra offers a substantial set of cameras that are among the best in the business once again. Although the front facing camera has taken a step down in maximum resolution to 12 megapixels on the S23 Ultra, it should also offer great quality selfies too. The enhanced 100 times space zoom has been improved with better color processing and manages contrast situations a lot better in our short experience with it. The Pixel can compete at up to around 10x, at least in our brief testing. Go above and beyond this though, and this zoom range war becomes a definitely in favor of the S23 Ultra as it's the best zoom phone that we have tested, at least given that the S22 Ultra was also similarly impressive. It's not just in hardware though where the Galaxy S23 Ultra bests the Pixel 7 Pro. If you want camera functionality, it's another no contest. From a dedicated Pro mode to the improved 8K video recording resolutions, the S23 Ultra could be a verifiable content creation machine. Whereas the Pixel 7 Pro is exceptional when it comes to processing and AR powered functionality from real tone 2.0 to guided frame, it's a basic but stupendous point and shoot smartphone camera system that we think most people will love either way. So just like last year, the Galaxy S23 Ultra provides so much in every single area that matters that it is undoubtedly one of the finest Android packages that will ever be sold. In many ways, it pulls the Pixel 7 Pro back into focus though given it has a substantially lower price point and offers at least 8 to 90% of what the Galaxy S23 Ultra can offer. For Google to have crafted a device that manages to enter the conversation at any point is actually testament to the improvements that have been made since the launch of the Pixel 6 Pro, which fell short on a few key areas. Even though we have only spent a short period with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it looks as though it's about to return to the summit of flagship Android smartphones either way. If you can't stomach that $1,000 plus asking price, we have to say though the Pixel 7 Pro is still a superb choice. Like the regular Pixel 7, it hangs in there against devices that it should on paper provide a major step up and absolutely obliterate it. The software tuning is equally impressive and even with less processing power, it doesn't ever feel as such. If your budget can stretch beyond $1,000, then there's absolutely no doubt that the Galaxy S23 Ultra could be vying for the title of best Android flagship all the way through 2023. But that said, the Pixel 7 Pro definitely is riding on its coattails. Let us know what you think though down in the comment sections below, which one you would pick and why, and why you prefer one particular ecosystem over the other. As always though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later. 
Our Galaxy S23 launch coverage has been brought to you by iBlazon and their signature armor box and Cosmo cases designed specifically for Samsung's latest flagship phones. Featuring integrated screen protectors, raised edges for face down screen scratch safety, 10 foot drop protection and styles to match whatever you fancy, all iBlazon cases are wireless charging compatible and the perfect way to keep your Galaxy S23 series handset safe and secure for whatever you want to throw at it. You can see the entire lineups via the link in the description and thanks again to iBlazon for sponsoring 95 Google here on YouTube.